the studios of WBONTV.com, I'm Marissa Hempel and this is your Monday afternoon news brief. The Richmond Police Department recently took a man into custody on a public intoxication charge excluding alcohol after he reported to police that, quote, worms were coming out of his ears following an alleged methamphetamine high. According to police, they arrived on South 3rd Street in Richmond to locate Joshua Lamb, who was completely soaked, unable to stand, and not wearing shoes. Lamb was also observed by police to have large pupils, slurred speech, and was said to be hallucinating. The citation continues that Lamb said there were worms in his ears and he freely admitted to allegedly using methamphetamine in the hours prior to his arrest. He then said that he used the drug down the street, crawled to the location on South 3rd, and then crawled to the road where he subsequently allegedly passed out. Police determined that Lamb was a danger to himself and others because he had passed out in the street and was laying face down in the middle of South 3rd during a downpour. He was arrested and lodged in the Madison County Detention Center. The puppy found abandoned in a cage beside a Winchester Road has now died. The puppy was discovered Friday morning where officials say the dog appeared to have an ongoing skin condition was able to stand on its own. The cage did have food, water, and a blanket. However, the Clark County Animal Shelter did take the puppy to a veterinarian for treatment, but the dog unfortunately died Sunday morning. And Lexington Fire and Police have confirmed that one individual has died and another has been transported to the hospital following a single vehicle crash at the I-75, I-64 Southern Split. Police received the call just after 8 a.m. this morning, where officials say the vehicle hydroplaned and then hit a concrete support. A female passenger was killed in the crash. The driver survived, but was transported with critical injuries. Collision reconstruction units were on scene for several hours, and the roadway has since reopened. And finally, last Friday, Richmond police were called to the scene of a domestic violence report. When officers arrived on the scene, they observed Kristen Curtis and the victim. Curtis allegedly became aggressive with the victim after being confronted about text messages from a male subject on her phone. According to witnesses, the victim was physically assaulted by Curtis during the confrontation. Authorities observed visible injuries on the victim's face and arms, as well as a portion of a tooth in the victim's hand. Curtis maintained that the argument was only verbal and not physical. However, the victim, who had been dating Curtis for approximately six months, could not recall the event in detail. Curtis was arrested by Richmond Police and lodged in the Madison County Detention Center, where she was charged with assault, fourth-degree domestic violence, with minor injury. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Ample.